What is going on everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about how to build a classic style castle in Valheim. Now first off you're going to want a nice flat spot like I chose in the plains to build your castle. And we're going to have to raise this spot because it's going to be the center of our castle. So I'm going to make a quick outline 5x5 five five with the cement blocks. That way we can raise all this ground up to its maximum capacity. Now it doesn't have to be super high, this is just going to be something you're going to attach your support beams to, that way you can ground them up two stories in the air. And boom, once you're done it should look a little something like that. It'll be uneven since you won't be able to raise them all equally usually because you know the bedrock is different beneath them and that's going to affect your max height of the block itself. So afterwards we're going to have to jump down and we're just going to level out the area around it. No real outline, just a quick flattening. That way when we go to lay down our foundation it can be more seamless than it usually is. You might have to whip your pickaxe out sometimes and bust out the stubbornness that won't flatten with your hoe. But once you have your area all nice and clean, you're going to want to jump up top. And this is going to be like the layout for our blocks themselves. We're going to do our little 5x5 five five ring up here again. That way when we go down below to set our foundation, it'll match up with these blocks. And they'll match up later on when we actually get up to higher stories. So this is worth thinking proactive here, people. Boom, and now we're ready to go down below and I'm going six off of the center so that's six off of each side and then I'm gonna fill it in the rest of the way that way it's not a huge area but this is gonna be the base of the inside of our castle once we're done I've taken on enough builds dude you know you set out to do a huge build in Valheim and it's gonna take you so long and you'll end up having big empty rooms so just keep that in mind when you're deciding how big you're gonna make your castle but once your foundation is finished, then you'll be on to making your four corner watchtowers, which I'm gonna do with the simple snap and turn method. Which you just turn it once, snap, turn, snap, turn, and repeat. And if you get three blocks away from the side, it'll come out perfectly just like this. And we'll repeat this in all four corners to have all of our watchtowers the same size and the same space. And after completion, you're gonna go back and you're gonna run around and we're gonna do the same with the concrete blocks. Now they'll snap to the boards themselves now so it'll be a lot easier for you since you lay those outlines down. Then we're going to plug up the center real quick. Then we're going to go back to building our watchtower walls which you can get up to like 8 or 9 high from here before they start to turn yellow. So I just go with 8 to keep it safe that way we can add a little cosmetic blocks to the top without having to reinforce it with wood and iron. And now we're gonna move on to the spiral staircase, which I just slapped up a quick one real fast. As you can see, they're all a little different. We'll go back and adjust that, fine tune it. Who knows, maybe in the hearth and home update, we'll be blessed with some new staircases. I'm excited to see what other building options they're gonna add. Boom, and once you reach the top, now we're going to go and we're going to have to use shift click on this and we're going to take the concrete blocks we're going to get it to snap and then hold shift click break it free you're going to line it up with the block that's underneath it and place it to where it makes a little v with the block beside it and that's what i'm using to go off of is the size of the v from the block beside it and it'll come out with this nice flowered pattern at the end Boom, like so. Now we're just going to want to frame in the top of this right here with the staircase. Which I don't think I'll put staircases in the rest of them. This will be the only one that has a staircase. That way there's limited access to the towers. Add a little staircase here and then we're just going to run around the ring with little one by one bottom boards. And as you do this keep it in mind is your staircase is right there and you don't want to come over too much 
to block your the path of movement up and down the staircase. Then we're going to jump up back up top and we're going to take the little one by one cube concrete blocks and we're going to hold shift click again and we're going to place them right in the center as best you can. And boom, not looking good so far. As you can see, these blocks are all orange. So if we had gone any higher, you would have to reinforce with wood and iron, which is a hassle if you have to end up doing that to everything. And then after that, you're going to want to head and just go ahead and repeat that process in all four corners, going up eight high and then lipping it and going around. Boom. And like I said with these, we're just going to do the wooden bases in the rest of these for now. That might change. We'll see as we go on. So right now, this is what we got. The castle's already coming together, looking good. We got our foundation and our towers. So the next thing we're going to want to do is get our walls going. And we're just going to connect each one of these sides together with a slightly bowed wall. You know, instead of going completely straight, which is give it a little more curvature. That way when we add some accent blocks to the outside, it'll have a better architecture at the end for sure. And just like that and we're gonna repeat that on all four sides and after you're done then you'll be on to webbing out the top so you can place stone across your castle and the reason we're gonna use stone to go over the top isn't just for the aesthetic look is also that it doubles as roof since we're not going to be using any roofing tiles in this build if you didn't know the stone will also allow you to place beds and workbenches anything else that requires it And we're just going to go ahead and support this to the T and hit every single block that we can. Just in case we have to end up building off of a spot that we can't get grounded, we want to just go ahead and support this extra well. Then we're just going to go ahead and fill in the top with concrete. But after you get done sealing in the top of your watchtower with all that concrete, it should end up looking a little something like this, which is coming together, starting to look good. And then after that, we're going to be on to making the outline for our top cylindrical tower. For this tower, we're going to do two blocks and then turn one. So we'll end up having an exact double size of the watchtowers on the corners that'll be in the center. And we're going to do it the same exact way from the concrete blocks all the way up, except for one slight difference is we're gonna have to reinforce these with wood and iron. So we're gonna go up as high as we can. As you can see, they're already turning red, and then we're gonna have to come back to the bottom. And this is where that raised ground is gonna come in handy because now we can place these reinforced iron and we can boom, ground them right there just like that. We can go up top and we can support just the top block, which is going to have a few cosmetic blocks on it. So we're not going to need much to build off of it because it won't allow it anyways. You only be able to go a few blocks before it'll turn red again. We're just going to repeat that all the way around and that should be strong enough to support our two extra cosmetic blocks we're going to put on top of that. But after that, as you can see, castle really starting to come together now. Should look a little something like that, all completely supported with wood and iron throughout the center. 
and now we're going to run around the ring doing the same thing we did on the small ones except two this time so we're going to place two tilt and then hold shift and shift click and come right there watch our space on the side make the little v boom place two hold shift click do it again and once you've done that then we're going to go back around and we're just going to place a single cube concrete block on each one of these tiles right in the center and boom yeah now it's starting to look really good oh yeah so after that we're going to go up and we're going to actually going to do concrete across the top of this tower instead of wood that way when we build anything in here which will probably have some beds closer to the top with some windows so we can actually rest on them so we're going to need to build a little web of reinforced wood and iron all across the top here to be able to support our stone in which we might not actually need that wood beam right there in the center touching the ground this could actually support it we'll test that out a little later that way we don't have to have that in our rooms looking good now we're just going to go through and we're going to place concrete blocks all the way across which they should snap in fairly well sometimes they do snap a little funky when you when you're setting them on those reinforced iron blocks like that so they want to snap to the side a little bit so after you get done you might have to go back and just fine tune a few just like that you see how they space over to the side a little bit and then we're gonna jump back down and we're gonna work on the entrance a little bit As you see I'm gonna go six blocks off the front again and this is gonna be the area between our castle and our wall where we're going to grow crops have windmills and that'll all be in the future probably won't get to that in this episode then we're just going to run a complete ring around the base six blocks off of the wall and then after we get done making our outline we'll be able to go back and raise the dirt inside this ring all the way around and raise it up to the edge of the concrete and then go back and flatten it all out to make it look pretty. And that is all y'all get out of me for this one, folks. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you got something out of the video, hit that like button for me. I really appreciate it. And don't miss part two when we finish off the walls and moat and we go in to start the ground floor.